What is the best time to start saving for the holidays? My answer might surprise you. I think that the best time to start saving for the holidays is right after the winter holidays are over. I start saving for the winter holiday expenses in January. The winter holidays come like clockwork every year at the same time. Since you know that, you can plan ahead to make sure that you have enough money saved for things like gifts, celebrations, and special holiday activities. Almost one quarter of Americans went into debt in 2019 just to cover the cost of the holidays, but this doesn't have to be you. In 2019, I was scrambling a bit to come up with the money needed to buy all of the gifts that I wanted to buy for family and friends and to bring a dish to share to all the different holiday parties and celebrations I was invited to. And so in 2020, I decided to change things up. Right away in January, I started saving a little bit of money every single month in a separate savings account just designated for winter holiday expenses. This year was such a breeze with gift giving. I was fortunate enough to maintain my job throughout 2020 and so I was able to continue saving money for holiday expenses each month throughout the year so that I was prepared when the holiday season rolled around. But I also lucked out a bit because there were less parties or celebrations or gift exchanges that I was a part of just because we were all kind of home this winter season. In order to ensure that you have enough money to cover the expenses or the costs associated with the winter holidays without going into debt, the best time to start saving is right away in January. If you're watching this video shortly after it's been uploaded, you can actually just go back through your credit card or debit card statement or collect your receipts to start to calculate how much you spent on all things winter holidays. Obviously include the cost of gifts, but also don't forget things like the cost of a bottle of wine or a dish to pass to any party you attended or costs related to winter activities, things that you just do around the holidays like going to the ice skating rink or the cost of admission for your local lights show. Include anything that is winter holiday related. If it's not close to the holidays, no worries. Just think through every person you think you might want to buy a gift for and how much you would ideally spend on that person's gift. Write down any gatherings or parties you think you might attend and what it might cost to attend those. For example, last year my book club did a white elephant-esque book exchange. Factor that in. It didn't happen this year, but maybe it will happen next year and you wanna be prepared. Finally, write down the estimated cost of any winter activities you think you might attend. Once you've reviewed your credit card or debit card statement or gone through your receipts or maybe just estimated how much you might spend on gifts and gatherings or parties and winter activities, go ahead and add that up so that you have a total of how much you might want to save for holiday expenses you can expect in the coming season. In order to figure out how much you need to save each month to be prepared for the holidays, take the total amount that you came up with that you expect you might need for holiday related expenses and divide that by the number of months you have left before the winter holidays. So if you're doing this at the end of December or in early January, you still have 12 months probably left to save before you're gonna need this money to cover winter holiday expenses. Let's say that you estimated that you'd need $450 for all of your holiday related expenses. $450 divided by 12 months is about $37.50 each month. So every single month, from January to December, you would need to save $37.50 in order to have the $450 that you need for holiday related expenses by the time December rolls around. $37.50 doesn't seem like a ton, but it adds up to $450, which would totally cover the cost of your winter holiday expenses. Let's say though, however, it's already June when you're watching this or when you're doing this and you still need that $450 by the time the winter holidays rolls around, but now you only have five months left to save. 450 divided by five months is about $90 a month. Again, still doable. You can totally save $90 a month. It's just a little bit more because you have less months to save, but still need the same amount of money. In this example, you'd want to save $90 each month from July to December in order to have $450 to cover your holiday expenses. 
Before I explain how and where to save this money, I wanted to let you know that I have several free workshops coming up that you can register for at automate2abundance.com backslash workshops. However, if you're watching this video right away when it is uploaded, I have a financial resolutions workshop coming up on January 1st to help you learn how to set financial goals for 2021 and to break them down into tangible action steps you can take every single month in the coming year. So if you have financial goals for yourself, things like you want to pay off your debt or you want to save an emergency fund or you want to save for a big upcoming expense like a vacation or a down payment for a house, I would love to have you at this workshop. Go to automate2abundance.com backslash financial resolutions to sign up for this free workshop so that you can achieve your financial goals in 2021. I will include those links down below. So to get back to saving for the winter holidays, now that you know exactly how much money you'd like to save each month leading up to the winter holidays, I would recommend opening or setting up a separate savings account where you can transfer this money every single month. If that money is saved in a separate account that's just designated for winter holiday expenses, you are less likely to spend it on something else because it's been set aside in a totally separate place. Additionally, setting up an automatic transfer so that the amount of money that you need to save each month is automatically transferred to that separate savings account for the winter holidays will help you to ensure that you don't lose willpower or forget to transfer that money every single month. This year, I just saved $20 a month every single month in a separate savings account. I had that money transfer over automatically shortly after I was paid each month and just kind of left it there for the whole year so that by the time the winter holidays rolled around, I felt zero guilt while I was doing my holiday shopping. As long as I stayed under that $240 that I already had saved for the holidays, I didn't have to feel guilty about spending that money because it was specifically saved for that purpose. It helped me to not stress about finances. Finances. It helped me to not stress about finances this holiday season. So in short, the best time to save for the winter holidays is in January or just as soon as you possibly can whenever you're watching this video. The holidays come at the same time every year, so plan ahead. Brainstorm a list of people you'd like to buy gifts for and holiday related expenses for celebrations and activities. Total that amount up and divide by the amount of months that you have to save so that you know how much money you should be saving each month leading up to the holidays. Once you know that amount, set up a separate savings account and automatically transfer that amount that you need to save each month into that separate savings account so that by the time the winter holidays roll around, the money is all sitting there, just ready to be spent. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and go ahead and check out this video right here. If you enjoyed the video you're currently watching, I know you're going to love this one.